This is still from Bong Zhu Sola. Today I'm going to show you a training, a training about the lithium battery parallel connection diagram design. Um, now our off-grid solar system uh, is, going to, is going to be bigger and bigger because uh, we need more and more capacity for the power. So that means we need more and more parallel for the lithium battery. So how can we make uh, the design, how can we make the diagram of connection uh, the best way can help our lithium battery to use uh, the best use uh, to use our capacity of the lithium battery. So today I'm going to show you a training technical. So uh, here I prepare three way of the connection I mean parallel. A is uh, we make the parallel for all positive. Positive, positive, positive. And uh, for the negative also, we make all parallel them. And then we connect the first, the number one. We connect the, uh, for example, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. We connect the inverter with the number one battery, positive. And then we connect the negative of the number one battery, uh, negative. So some of the people, some of the engineer, they connect like this because uh, this kind of uh, connection, this kind of uh, diagram is the it's a very easy connection, and then and uh, they can save uh, many many wires because uh, here the connection in parallel they don't take uh, many wires, and then only one wires from the inverter to the number one uh, battery. So that means. It seems that this connection, you can save a lot of uh, wires. You can save a lot of money. But is that okay for this uh, connection diagram? Is this connection diagram can use your lithium battery very good? Uh, I don't think so. I think this kind of wire is no good. Uh, because uh, we can we can think about the resistance. Resistance. For example, for the number one battery, we have only wires from the inverter to the number one. So for example, if this wire is one meter, so that means we have only one meter wires resistance for the number one lithium battery. But you can also imagine for the number five lithium battery, we have not only these wires, we have uh, this one. So that means that if the current, we need to, the wires, it seems uh, from here, one meter. If every uh, cable, every wires is one meter, that means for the number five uh, lithium battery, we have a one meter, two meter, three meter, four meter, five meter from the inverter to the number five. Uh, lithium battery. We have a five meter, five meters long cable. And that means five times of the resistance of the number one battery. So that means for the number one battery, they have a lower resistance and the number five uh, lithium battery, they have a higher resistance. Okay, so when we charging the battery, because uh, one, two, three, four, five, if we parallel the lithium battery, the whole battery, we can, we can think them, we can, we can, we can um, make it uh, like a, a pack. That means that they are whole battery. So the voltage of both uh, positive, negative, positive, negative will be the same because uh, they are in parallel. The voltage is the same. But there is a problem of the current sharing. Okay, the current sharing. That means even they are the same voltage, the current, when they're charging the battery, most of the currents, they will charge. That means that the number one is the uh, is lower, is lowest, lowest resistance. That means 
um, they have uh, more currents charging sharing to the number one battery. And the number five is the higher, is the highest, highest resistance. That means they have uh, the least. They don't have many current sharing to the number five. So once once the number one battery is full, once the number one battery is full, because they are lithium battery, once number one is full, the voltage of the whole pack, for example, the voltage of the whole pack will be fifty eight point four. For example, number one is full, but number five is not full yet. But now the voltage of the battery is a fifty eight point four volt, maybe fifty seven six fifteen six, and then the battery will give the inverter the charge a signal that our battery are full, so no need to charge. So they stop the charging. Stop the charging. For number one, one hundred full. Maybe number two, ninety five percent full. Maybe number three, ninety. Maybe number four. Eighty-five, maybe number five, eighty percent. Now this is an example, huh? To let you know more clear. So the inverter, the charger, not charge anymore for this battery. Okay, now this is the charging. And then okay, once the battery, once the inverter, they need to use the power AC. The inverter will discharge the battery. Right, the battery they need to、uh, discharge. So once they discharge, because they also the same pack, they are in parallel. So once they charge, they discharge. The number five have only eighty percent. So once you all discharge the number five battery, the voltage of the number five is very low. The number five. Battery will give a signal to the lithium battery to the to the inverter to tell the inverter now I am off. I don't have uh, enough uh, capacity. I don't have any capacity more. So、uh, you need to stop. You cannot discharge anymore. So the inverter will discharge. Will just stop discharging. So that means this one, the number five, maybe zero, but the number one, they still have uh, about. Number twenty percent. So this is only an example to let you know. So that means the battery is not balanced, and this is for one time charging and discharging. So you can imagine, if every day they charging discharging like this, in few months, few months later, the number five battery, the capacity will be very very low, and then they always discharge, and sometimes. The number five,、uh, maybe,、uh, maybe is、uh, over discharging. So that will be not good for not only number five, but also the whole system, whole lithium battery. You cannot use the one hundred percent of the lithium battery, the capacity. So, I don't think that this is a good parallel connection. I don't suggest you, whatever. Situation of your installation. I don't suggest you to use this kind of、uh, installation. This kind of installation is no good. You cannot use this kind of、uh, installation. Parallel. Maybe few months, no problem. But maybe one year, two years later, you will find the problem of the number five. Always, always the problem with the last、uh, battery. Always the last one. So this is no good for the installation parallel. Okay, and then we will see the number the B. If we connect the positive here and the negative here, it seems it seems the、uh, wire between each each、uh, battery is the same. But there is also a problem. The problem is when you make the installation. For example. Now we have only five pieces the、uh, lithium battery in parallel, but when you make the installation, maybe the battery they are bigger, and then they 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 need to have some distance. So if we make like this, 
we connect the inverter positive valve here and the negative here, it is difficult to make the, the wire from positive and the negative. They, they are the same length. Very difficult. So this one, I don't suggest you to make like this. Uh, for me, my suggestion is to uh, use a bus bar. Bus bar. If you use a bus bar, for example, here, positive bus bar, here, negative bus bar. And then all of the uh, battery, we most of the uh, battery suppliers, they will give you a one meter long, for example, for example, they will give you a one, one meter long cable wires, positive and negative, red color and black color. So you can make uh, the um, bus bus in the middle, bus bus in the middle, and then connect all the uh, positive from the battery to the bus bus. They, they use the same, the same longs, the same longs wires because all they use the one meter long, one meter long um, cable. So, so they, the cable, the longs, they are the same. The longs, they are the same. And then from the positive and negative bus bar, you can install, you can add uh, one more air breaker and then to combine the, the wire together. So, okay, so now here, I make an example for you. So you can see here. Um, <coughs> so we have a one, two, three, four, five, five lithium battery in parallel. So this is our uh, bus bus, red color positive, and this is our bus bus, black color positive. And then you can see the wires from the bus bar to the positive of the battery. They are all the same laws. That means they have the same uh, resistance. Here also, they have the, all the same laws of the uh, positive. So like this. And then that means they can very good sharing, the current sharing. They can have the same current sharing for each lithium battery. So they don't have a so-called number one, number two, number three, number five, number four. No, they, they share the same, okay? And for the negative also. And once we combine together the wires from the bus bar, we have a bigger wires here, and then we connect the air breaker. Air breaker, this is for the safety, for the, for the, for the combiner, current together. And then we can control also the, the, the off and on and protect the system. And then from this side, we connect the inverter. So according to my experience, this is the best way for the lithium battery parallel connection. And then we'll, we'll make your lithium battery, every, every of your lithium battery the same current sharing. No difference. So. If your system in parallel have some problem with the last lithium battery, you should think about the parallel connection. You should think about is that the cable are not the same longs? Can the system sharing the currents the same? This is you need to think about that. So remember, bus bus is very important, very good for your system. And uh, the longs of each wires to be the same so they have the same resist resistance okay thank you today and uh, this is leo from bonjour Shana. thank you so much and i hope uh, this uh, training can help you something so uh, see you next time thank you bye